think you should. I mean, I really think you should. Hey guys, it's Jara here and welcome back to Dream Daddy. It is hot in this room. It might be because I'm looking at all of these fan daddies. But it's definitely hot in this room. So let's continue on with the game. Last time we had just finished a date, I believe, with um, a lovely boy, Craig. So I think next we're going to go on a date with Matt because a reminder of my top three favorites are Craig, Matt, and Hugo. So let's go on a date with Matt. Let's just message him, see if he actually wants to go out with us. Because he might not want to go out with us. Because he might not love us. <laughs> so yeah, basically this is what's going on. Um, yeah. Welcome back to Dream Date. Dream daddy. <laughs> Welcome back to Dream Daddy, ladies and gentlemen. I think today we're gonna try and do a little bit of a softer voice, kind of like Markiplier's World's Quietest Let's Plays. Let's try this, shall we? It's a bit more personal. I navigate to map dad book page and type out a message hey man hey man oh, I can't read that fast hey man great game to see you at the barbecue we should definitely hang out soon you free later a minute or two later and I hear a ding and see Matt's response hey dude I'll be so down for that I'm actually catching a show tonight at the sound garden wanna come out I think for a moment What's a sound garden? It's a concert venue, but also a band that a lot of people listen to back when it was cool to have soul patches. Oh man, I haven't been to a real concert since Amanda was born. Am I ready for this? While I'm thinking, another message pops up on the screen. Pup is playing tonight. Cool little indie pop punk rock band out of Canada. Should be a fun one. I didn't know you were allowed to stream that many words together to describe a band. Whatever. Let's go out of our comfort zone. We're gone. I log off a dad book and think for a second. Wait, when was the last time I went to a concert? I mentally backtrace decades through memorials of denim jean jackets and moral panic over teenagers turning to the occult. Oh god, I had a mullet back then. Oh god, I thought it was cool. Oh god, other people thought it was cool. I finally remember the strange 80s pro rock I used to listen to and mentally envision all of the airbrushed vans in the parking lot. Man, how did anyone survive the 80s? Okay, so I haven't been to a concert in a long time. About 30 years if we're going based off of this. What do you even do at a concert now? I spend most of my day panicking pacing around the house and thinking about my relationship with coolness. I mean, I always thought I was cool, at least relative to a bunch of other dads my age. Amanda, what are you doing? I look over and see Amanda at the door, just getting home from school. Heh. Anyway, what's up? Amanda, how do I be cool? Can you tell me this? Because I really need to know. I'm a, like, just... Let me get a pad of paper out. Let me just take some notes down. Oh, let me just grab my pad of paper. Okay. I'm listening. Let me put on a pot of coffee first. This is going to be a long night. No, seriously. Matt invited me to a concert. And I don't think I've ever been to one since you were born. Yeah. You have. You took me to one when I was 12, remember? I suddenly overwhelmed by the memory of sea of screaming preteens. Oh, oh god. I tried so hard to forget. When people liked One Direction. Ew. The one where I had to camp out. The one where I had to camp out with you in line so you could get a good spot and then you cried and screamed the whole time. 
Dad, it was much more than that. And I'm not even ashamed to say it. Oh, you're not ashamed? You seem pretty ashamed when I found all those drawings you made of those dancing boys kissing in your trapper keeper. Yeah, well, you didn't even find the good stuff. <laughs> anyway, you should be all set for the concert if you remember that. Just bring a big glowy sign and cry a lot and you'll fit right in. Well, it's a smaller place and I think Matt mentioned that there's a punk band. Like, a DIY glitter punk? Thrash? Straight edge? Come on, Dad, give me something to work with here. Are they post punk? Proto punk? C punk? Germany punk? Who's Jeremy punk? I made that one up to see if I could, I could get away with it. Mm. They're not positive hardcore, are they? Um, he said they are Canadian punk? Oh, yeah. You'll be fine. <laughs> Does the idea of Canadian punk seem interesting to you? Can't read. I don't see friendship and politeness as quartets on the punk scene. Well, punk is kind of a big genre, and that might not be as dangerous as you think it is. It becomes so much more than just counterculture rebellion. What I'm trying to say is just enjoy the music. Hmm. That's it. I mean, yeah. It's not like you're going to jump into a mosh pit or anything. Well, that's comforting. And if a strange dude is set your goal... In a set your goals or hoodie offers to buy you merch, don't accept it and deny it. And definitely don't go on three awful dates with him afterwards when he takes you to a nice restaurant and then forgets his wallet literally three times in a row. What? Never mind. Just have a blast tonight. <laughs> I show up at the coffee spoon at eight in what I'm hoping is concert appropriate attire. I see Matt at front locking the door to the shop. Hey, you made it. Ready for tonight. I kind of forget Matt's voice, but I'm pretty sure it was like deep and like smooth, like coffee. Yeah, it's been a while. Yes, of course, I definitely know what I'm talking about. Ready? Okay, I'm gonna say it's been a while. <sighs> Man, I gotta admit, I haven't been to a real concert since Pet Rock. So cool. I have no idea what I'm in for. Did your daughter? Did your daughter make you take her to one of those boy band concerts where everyone holds signs and screams and cries? Hey. Yeah. I have two lined up next month. I still can't get the glitter out of my car from the last one. Stay strong, my man. Stay strong. But dude, I get to take you to your first concert in a long time. This is going to be awesome. Just hang with me, Jay, and you'll be good. The scene is super supportive, and it will be a blast. Hey. Quick question. Shoot. What is scene? <laughs> that laugh, though. Sorry, sorry. It's just weird because scene can describe a music scene as it pertains to a community of people who like the same genre, but can also describe a genre of music no one wants to admit they were into. Matt looks off into the middle of the distance. He says nothing, but I can tell he's thinking, Never again. Hey. That's confusing. You'll get it. The important thing tonight is that you enjoy yourself. Come on, let's head to the show. After waiting in a short line to get in, we finally find ourselves in a small venue with a stage at one end and a bar at the other. Most people here are closer to Amanda's, Amanda's, Amanda's age than mine. I suddenly feel very out of place. My warning youth is showing. I'm suddenly aware of my mortality. When were the good years in my life? Will Amanda still love me as we both grow older? Wait, is Seapunk actually a genre? <laughs> Matt, you made it. A young kid runs up and high fives Matt. The kid runs off and Matt turns to me, shuddering. I. I I get nervous when people surprise high five me. Me too. It's like weird because you're like, huh, 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 huh. I'm like a small animal. 
loud noises, and large groups of people frighten me. Do you also enjoy curling up in a patch of sunlight to take a nap? It's my favourite thing to do. A couple of other people notice that Matt's in a crowd and yell, Hey, it's me. As well, Matt waves and hugs a couple of people. He seems really in his element here. Oh, he seems happy. Matt turns his attention back to me. I'm so afraid of all of these people. Oh. Let's go grab a beer. Matt and I line up in a bar in the back where a couple of older concert goers hang out. A couple more people notice Matt and tip their drinks at him. Seems like you're a popular guy here. Not really into whole popular guys because they seem really stuck up. But you know, I'm taking a chance on you because those tattoos are hot. I seem to have a thing for guys with tattoos and earrings. That just seems to be some guys I like. Other guys is really geeky. And like nerdy and cud cuddable. C cuddly. Then just tall. I don't know. Actually, I'm not tall. Just. I don't know. I don't know. I'm weird. I need to shut up. Uh, yeah. I do a lot of shows. This is a really cool spot. But it's times like these where I realize I can only be charming and funny for about five minutes before running out of stuff to talk about. And then I become keenly aware of where my hands are. And that there's no comfortable place in your mouth for your tongue to rest. Hmm. God damn it, where do I put my tongue? Uh, uh, see? Well. I've known you for more than five minutes and I still think you're charming and funny. Just you wait. We grab our drinks. This scene seems really friendly. I don't know why people wouldn't want to admit they listen to it. <laughs> Let's check out the merch. Sup? Matt and I walk over to a small booth in the corner of the room. Where a crusty looking teenager guards a selection of search shirts and records. He singles me out from across the room and hops into a chair. Uh, step on up, get to merch here. I got t shirts, I got tank tops, I got all the gifts on the cannons. I just got the concert goers off because they taste might want you. I gestured to myself, my face flushing red. Yes, you. You look like a soldier who knows the music. Has about a fine, fine twenty-inch long plane, twelve-inch long plane vinyl recorder. Made to see by Pop Canada's premium pop rock outfit. Totally, ho. Tell you, good sir. Please don't me. Uh, uh. Besides, we have the taste in your voice, buddy. Now you saw you on my reputation as the hottest cover. That this record cannot and will not let you down. Okay, Pablo. Give it a rest. The teen hops off a chair and takes a seat. Your friend looks... I don't know what voice to give him. He's like... Hmm. Well, your friend looks lost, so I'd figure I'd give him... Oh, Ralph Dow. Yeah, How the hell are you, Matt? Day by day, my man. Do you do the thing where they high five but also turn to a hug? The whole like, hey! It's like high five and then you like come in. Your mom doing better? She's still single! If you want to be my dad, I can make that connection. <laughs> <laughs> and I have to deal with you every single day, plus the part I'm gay. Fair enough! Who's your bud? That's Jay. I thought I'd bring that. I thought I'd bring out a concert pal. Pablo leans closer to Matt. Is Jay cool? Matt eyes me. Hmm. I am back. Hmm. He cracks his mouth. <laughs> yeah. Pablo brings me in for a bro hug. My dude! I'm not sure what to say, but given the courtesy of the two packs of the bar, as a customer in our society for people you don't know so well but still want to be friendly to. Pablo's a total card. Kids play the hell out of bass. Yeah, man! When are we starting our witch house band? You know, 
I'm at the game. It's a shame, you know. That can't veil would have slayed. <laughs> Sound like a marker, but I laugh there, but not as deep. I'll slay once you start actually making music instead of just printing a bunch of band shirts. We got the sickest logo. My man Pablo talk, I check out the merch. These uh, shirts are really nice. It looks like the opener is coming on. Let's get a spot up close. Matt and I walk over to the stage where a crowd begins to form. The band walks up on stage and picks up a variety of strange instruments. Is that a harpsichord? The lead singer addresses the crowd. He has a mandolin slung behind his back. Hey, what's up everybody? We're Jonathan Jones and the Speakeasy Choir. My name is Daniel. Let's start the show. Woo! Woo! Feed off you! Woo! Oh no. These guys. What? Well, that time to respond, the band starts playing the most catastrophic noise you've ever heard. What is this? Matt doesn't say anything. He just hands me some earplugs. Thanks! I plug the earphones, earplugs in, and whatever the hell is assaulting my ears gets a lot quieter. From the For a band this bad, they sure seem to have be having fun. I guess that's what really matters. Jesus, did the cellist just break his bone off? I don't get this. The set seems to go on forever. There's no breaks in their songs, and I think one of the band members' jobs is just to burn poetry on stage. I turn to Matt and try to start a conversation. So you go to the concerts out here, huh? What? So you go to a lot of concerts out here, huh? What? So you... <laughs> yeah. Matt turns back his attention to the show. He can't hear me, so I just stop and try to enjoy the music. Okay, nope, this is impossible. How long have we been playing the same song? 10 minutes? 20? A year? My life is just disappearing. Eventually, eventually, the set ends, but only after the drummer sprains his ankle during his saxophone solo. They promised it was part of the ad as he was carried off stage crying. Hey. Matt and I both pulled our earplugs out. Man, that was something. I promise pop is much better. I just have a lot of questions I'll never get the answer to. Oh yeah, he sprains his ankle at every show. They were being real about that. Hmm. Let's grab another. Let's grab another beer. Matt and I work our way out of the crowd and back to the bar. More and more people file into the concert spaces, getting closer to the main act. It's getting kind of crowded in here. We grab our beers and I try and follow Matt back to our spot, but there are so many people that I'm having a hard time keeping up. As I work my way through the throng of exciting concert goers, I realize I lost Matt entirely. I stop and look around, seeing nothing but a sea of hip twenty something. I'm lost. How am I ever going to find Matt here? Where's the exit? Are there even exits? What if I'm trapped in this building forever? And I'm, am I going to see my daughter ever again? What if the terrible band gets on stage? And what if suddenly a hand reaches out to grab me? It's Matt. I almost lost you, buddy. Whew, got really nervous there for a second. You and me both, dude. Dude does not suit his character. He takes my hand and leads me back towards the stage. I can feel myself blushing a little. We finally settle back into our spot and wait for the band to start. Hey. Busy place, huh? Yeah, pop really brings out a crowd. So you go to concerts a lot? Oh um, yeah, it's one of my absolute favorite things in the world. I think it's one of the things to listen to music and connect with it, but when you're in a room full of people connecting with the music just the same way that you are, that's magic. It's true. It's only in the OSP. Curse this tiny dad bladder. I've never heard it that way. That's really beautiful. I also have to pee. It's <laughs> not how I would say it. I would be like, um, can you point me in the direction of the bathroom? Hurry up, man. They're about to go on. I squeezed my way out of the crowd towards the restroom. I really should have gone before I left the house. But Amanda was watching beauty videos in the bathroom. She had an eyeliner wing going halfway across her face, which was actually pretty good looking. I'm so proud of her. <laughs> her watching James Charles. Proud of my girl. 
made it to the restroom finally, but it's one of those single person restrooms with a line forming outside of it. As soon as I finish my business, the band starts. Crap. The people that were milling around the venue were crap against the stage as public plays their first song. How am I ever going to find Matt now? Dad tip, it's okay to cry if you're feeling sad. What? Everyone's rushing to the main stage to watch pop play. I'm sure Matt will be up there too. I gotta get there without being trampled by all these rowdy yous. How? What? I'm so confused. Matt? Where you should have been hearing a licensed tune. We worked really hard <laughs> to lock it down for you. We even got permission to whitelist the song for YouTube and Twitch. But their system hey. is broken. Ah, what a bitch. Sure. How long is this stage? Searcher. Let's play as I have one decree. Please check out the band called Pop and their song DVP. We'll do that. Is that what song's supposed to be playing? Nice. All right, stop hitting me. Listening to now. I like this song. Better than losing than I <laughs> That's me. Help the band go pop. Hey, I survived the crowd. But I did not do well. Content ID demands a serious convo. But is this the time or place to talk about it? Oh no. This is Yo, favorite band right now. About getting with dads, no less. <laughs> Hold on. What are we doing? What a mess. Yo, this song needs to be on iTunes. So Me, what I'm thinking about my life. Woo! Right I was only able to work my way through the crowd to where Matt originally was, but he's nowhere to be found. Shoot, well, I guess I should keep looking. I bumped into from behind. I find myself in the middle of a bunch of yous running around in circles to music. I'm in a pit. How do I get out of a pit? I have no way you shoulders himself into me and keeps moving to a circle. Hey! I guess I'm moving in a circle now. I frankly search for a way out, but all I can see is an ocean of yous. Rhythmically slamming into each other. Another you slammed into me and I lose my balance. I'm about to topple over. This is it. This is how I die. Trampled on the boots of countless culture. Someone grabs my hand. Someone familiar. I look up and I see Matt. He pulls me back onto my feet. <laughs> this song. Wow, dude. Matt throws his arm around me and we jump back in the circle, bashing into yous left and right as Pop plays a killer solo. I didn't know you messed with pits. Me neither. I can't believe this. I'm having fun. I'm a little mad that I didn't stretch before physical activity, but I'm having fun. The song ends and the pit finally dissipates. Everyone's cheers on pop. Maybe I only got enough pit energy for one song. <laughs> Alright man, let's retreat. We'll show these kids how it's done another day. We work our way back from a more comfortable spot in the crowd and enjoy the rest of the show from a safe distance. Pop puts on an amazing set and basically has to beg themselves off stage after the uncle. With the concert over, the crowd starts making their way to the exit. Hey, I'll meet you we outside. I was a battle couple of people. I hang outside the venue until Matt finally shows up. Hey man, thanks for waiting. I got you a present. Matt hands me a t-shirt I was looking at earlier. Hey. Whoa, thanks man. 
Saw you eyeballing it back at the merch booth. Did you see me eyeballing you up and down? I don't know how to flirt, I'm sorry. I mean, anyone who tears it up that hard on their first time back to a concert deserves a reward. I'm never taking this off. Amanda will love it. The yous will finally accept me again. The yous will finally accept me. Finally. I was able to infiltrate their ranks, defeat them, not only on their field of battle, as we have done today, but on a grander scale. We'll see you in the world pit, yous. Hey, uh, hey Matt. Hey, it's Pup. Nice. Hey, dude, didn't realize you were here. I'm so glad I could make it. You guys put on a great show. Uh -huh. Thanks. Well, see you around. Wait, hey. you know Pop? Oh, yeah. Met him a couple of times when they first started touring. Good kids. Oh. Whoa. Come on, let's grab some dinner food. I suddenly realize just how hungry I am. Man, most bits take a lot out of you. They really do. Matt and I walked to a teeny little diner with a cute neon sign. We tear into some bacon and eggs in a corner booth. Mmm. So there I am in a pit trying to explain to the face tattoo guy that I didn't mean to elbow in the face tattoo, but he's erasing red. Not from the tattoo, which coincidentally was red. He's lumbering towards me and there's nowhere else to go. It's in for me, right? Then I don't know where I get this idea. I just lean back and spread my arms and just like that, I'm crowd surfing away from him in slow motion. You should have seen the look on his face. I brought him a beer afterwards and we were cool. We still follow each other on social media. He has beautiful kids. Hey, uh, Glad you guys worked it out. Yeah, man. Just goes to show you that punk's not dead. It just drives a miniature van and has to hire a babysitter. Oh. So how'd you get into all those amazing concerts? Oh, I used to tour in a band when we were small, but it goes traveling all around the states. Oh, what was the band? Yeah, I mean we were poor and we had to scrap a lot together just to survive. But I wouldn't trade those experiences for anything. But yeah, that's how I knew a bunch of people at the show. Music like this builds an amazing community, especially in a town like this. Just a lot of positive energy, good vibes. I got that feeling. Plenty of friendly people, especially that Pablo kid. Oh man, everybody loves Pablo. His mom being raising him on her own and you can tell it's been rough on both of them. I know he looks up to me so I try and help him out wherever I can. Hey. That's really nice of you. Thanks. Us single parents just really have to look out for each other. How's Carmen Esther? She said she wants to learn the drums. Oh boy. It'll be loud and I need to take lots of aspirin but I'll manage. Can't really blame her. You know what you could do is get an electric dump drum kit because then they can just plug in headphones and then you actually hear nothing other than like the actual physical just so you don't actually hear like the boom sorry headphone users and you don't hear like a you only hear like a it's really soft well that's what I've seen anyway I'm suddenly very grateful for all my daughter's hobbies are super quiet photography collaging Whatever it is she does on the internet, you know, writing fan fictions. Thanks, Amanda. I'm trying to be supportive of Calm and Mr.'s rebellious phase, but I guess that kind of defeats the purpose of it, doesn't it? I think it would be a good daddy-daughter activity to find something to rebel against together. Like what? Fashion, consumerism, big budget, big budget remakes of foreign films. Hmm. Honestly, it could be anything. I... This is on a personal level, but I personally hate it when you have clothing that's like, oh, this is men's, this is women. Why can't everything just be gender neutral? Why do you have to have male clothes and female clothes? If guys want to wear female clothes, let them. If girls want to wear male clothes, let them. Why do we have to discriminate against clothing? It's a piece of material that we wrap around our body to make sure that no one can see private parts. Who cares what it looks like? Who cares? Just wear something. It doesn't matter. Why should it be gendered? I hate that. But mm, I think consumerism. Why do we gotta get up so early the day after Thanksgiving? Line up to buy things. Why can't we like share things? Comrade, you're speaking of dangerous things. He and I laughed and we dig out to no no no. 
and we dig into our big plate of greasy diner food. The breakfast I ordered for dinner is absolutely hitting the spot. Man, being a single dad is rough sometimes. It's a lonely feeling. I understand that all too well, comrade. I mean, at least we're having the rest of the dads to talk to. Yeah, I just don't know. I get really nervous sometimes talking to people. Matt gets nervous talking to people, but he's so cool. Me too, bro. I've never really considered myself an extrovert. i never really considered myself an introvert. So you're an adrovert, which is middle. I'm just uncomfortable in every situation, always. Changing that to my Twitter bio, because honest to God, no, I should change it to Twitter or Instagram. I don't know. I'm change that to something though. Just I'm uncomfortable in every situation. I might just tweet it actually, because that's just a me thing. Hey. I'm uncomfortable in every situation. Ah, you're fine. You're actually really easy to talk to. You know that. A smile. It's so nice. Matt and I spend the rest of the night trading daughter stories. Turns out our kids are a lot alike. We finish up our late night dinners and head out. We went back to the cul-de-sac, back to our respective homes. Tonight was a blast, man. Sorry, I'm just going to tweet out right now. Follow me on Twitter. Link is in the description. I'm... I'm always uncomfortable. Oh, I forgot now. I'm uncomfortable. Oh, I'm uncomfortable. Or I'm uncomfortable in every. Oh, if I can spell it, would be great. In every sitch. I should say social. Social sitch. I'm uncomfortable with every social situation. That's my tweet for tonight. Love it. Although I'm probably going to feel it in my knees in the morning. <laughs> you and me both. I um, don't usually like going to these things alone. It was really cool to have you with me. I'm glad. Alright, I'm calling it quits for tonight. Stay cool, man. You call me cool. No one ever calls me cool. Matt called me cool. Ah! I walk into the house with my heart in my throat. Amanda pops her head out of the room. Hey, Bops. How was the show? Matt thinks I'm cool. You don't say. Amanda Panna, Matt thinks I'm cool. Blindly in the blind, huh? Wow. I just got dunked by my own child. Unbelievable. Hey, Amanda. Remind me which one of us just tore it up in a pit at a punk show, and which one of us just spent four hours probably watching Tiny House Hunters Amateur Triplets Extreme Edition. First of all, how dare you? That show is a classic. Second of all, you moshed in the pit? Who even are you? I'm your extremely cool dad. Alright, I'm hitting the hay pops. I'll see you in the pit. Night, kiddo. I think that date went extremely well. Date complete. <laughs> Tiny bladder. <laughs> nice. Okay, so we didn't get an S, but that's okay. Welcome. You got dads. Cause we got S with this one, didn't we? Yeah, I'm pretty sure we got S for that. So, both of those dates actually did really well. A lot better than I was expecting. I'm excited to see how Hugo will go next. Um, and then, out of once I finish Hugo's day, I will decide after that who I will continue on with. Either Craig, Matt, or Hugo. I'm not going to date the other four guys because they're just not my type, personally. Um, but Matt's actually... I gotta say, he might be hitting first place. He, he's hitting, he's close to first place in who I want to date. It's kind of Craig and Matt. Matt's almost taken over, but we haven't given you a chance yet, so we gotta see. And with that, thank you guys so much for watching. And if you liked it, let me know in the comments below and tell me how do you think the date will go with Hugo next, and should I do some more videos with the mic real close like this? And if you want, I can make it even more weird sounding by turning the gain up all the way so you hear everything I do even when I swallow. 
but probably not the game part because that's just creepy but maybe we'll do some more like this i don't know anyway dry out see you guys in the next video sarcasm out don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye see ya if you don't know what i do at the end it's just a handshake that all of us siblings have which is one hit two hit three hit bring it back and then another hit and then see ya and i like bring it to the camera a bit more it's a handshake i'm sorry if i every time i do that i'm just like hitting you guys in the face